a couple of winters. They'd always thought that butterflies were seasonal, but on that frosty evening, as they kissed for the first time, they realised that certain kinds thrive even in the bitter cold. Despite the time they'd already spent growing closer, it all properly began after that kiss on the bankside. Gradually, there then came the introductions to friends, siblings, a colleague or two. It was too soon to meet parents that first Christmas, it being only a month after that Riverside rendezvous. So they spent that first holiday apart, attending to their familial duties. They reunited to see in the new year together though, celebrating just the two of them in her favorite Cotswold cottage. The following Christmas, it was time. Time to share in the traditions of their respective families together. They warned each other about the family anecdotes, the loud aunt, the festive singing, the time-honoured food rituals, the gift-giving procedures. Once there, they felt nervous, clumsy, and struggled to understand the old family jokes and ways of doing things. So they each, in turn, found themselves sitting by the comfort of the fire, observing their loved ones' families and antics from a little distance, each family doing as that family always does. The next year, they took the plunge and invited both families over to their flat, which was much too small, really, to entertain. Only four could fit at the table at a time, but they made it work. The Christmas tree, now at home in the bathtub, and piled plates balancing on knees on the sofa or fold-up chairs. This was also the year they found themselves poked, prodded and quizzed by prospective grandparents. But it wasn't so long they had to wait. After each family had left, they began making some traditions of their own. In the days after Christmas, they swapped the honey-glazed parsnips for pepper and parsley roasted carrots, the alcohol-soaked fruitcake for bread and butter pudding, and spun together an 80s playlist they both agreed they'd never tire of. Their fourth Christmas marked the arrival of a beautiful baby girl. They both swore she was the most perfect child in the world. That was the year they entertained family, friends and neighbours in their new, bigger home, all keen to glimpse the little treasure and inevitably confirm how wonderful she was. Despite the chaos of endless visitors, the sleeplessness, the exhaustion of hosting, that Christmas was the most special of all.